हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल जोशी वेलकम्स यू टू दिस शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ लेट इज गो टू दी टॉपिक फर्स्ट लंबार स्पाइन एपी इज अ फर्स्ट बेसिक प्रोजेक्शन लंबार स्पाइन आर यूजली आस्ट Or equation is for the lumbar spine AP and lateral. So after that, first let us see what is the AP. Now the indication are pain, that is back pain, then post-operative confirmation of prosthesis or position or location of the external fixators, then suspected lower limb cord or root compression. That's a clinical topic, but the clinician must be aware how it presents. Then suspected vertebral body pathology. the infective traumatic neoplastic congenital or otherwise a technician should know this before because he is going to give position he is going to see that patient's comfort and he is going to avoid unnecessary pain pain precipitating factors for that reason he should know it before taking patient in radiography room all these things now once it is decided he is going to take the patient on the table then he can take the radiographs in either st- standing or in supine position depending on the indications and depending on the details a clinician want the angulation is zero in either degrees then the distance is 100 cm film size is 14 by 17 that is the maximum size of film we are using and bucky is always required bucky is required if it is uh, you are dealing with cr or a conventional which is still at certain basis practice but if it is a dr then there is no question of bucky this is line diagram now where you take the center at l1 to l5 now here it is shown as t12 that is where vertebrae starts indicating that a central ray can be from l1 to l5 s1 or beyond that if you are suspecting any sacral or sacrococcygeal information is concerned so uh, depending on patient's clinical indication depending on the asked you change your central point now let's see a video how the radiographs are obtained now here we are seeing how a standing radiograph is done most of the lumbar patient will have a nerve root compression so it may or may not be possible for him to stand straight however there are certain clinical indications where we have to take a standing projection this is a demo purpose so the patient is standing well now what you have to check is the patient is in correct ap position number 1 second to centering of the central ray central ray can be from l1 to l5 or below depending on the indication now as far as ls spine is concerned lumbosacral spine is concerned there is no angulation to the tube it is straight so that is the way we position the patient that is the way central angle is checked and most important thing is you have to collimate at the end and see that if there is any distortion distortion can be at lumbar level it can also be at the shoulder level so both are checked third is to contact that the contact to the cassette has to be proper that is checked and we go for the exposure proper now these are the two x-rays which i am showing you first x-ray is with you can see the where the centering is the centering is l2 l3 while in second x-ray it is at l1 so l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 centering depends on the clinical indication but by and large there is no angulation given if you give angulation that will be known because of the pelvic inlet these views are totally different when we take ap with a Uh, with angulation they are not for the lumbar spine but they are for the pelvic inlet and outlet radiographs which are not covered in this thank you for watching this video now in case if you need more information do visit our website there are more article more illustrations and more informations the addresses are given they are just one click away from you